Oh yeah, family, it's morning time. Welcome to the celebration, morning motivation. I am Deacon Ford and we're here once again to give God all glory, all honor, all praise. For this right here is the day that the Lord has made and we shall rejoice and be glad in it. It's morning time, family. Let's get into this word. See what the words say. Good morning to you. So, so Dusty, good morning to you. Instagram and YouTube, good morning to you. My niece Daisy, Big John Russ, I see you on here, stands out of good morning to you. Sister Cheyenne, Mother Robinson, Deacon Robinson, Evangelist Pond, good morning to you. Listen to this word, y'all. Let's see what the words say. Oh, yeah. You see it? Right there. In the word. Good morning to you, good morning to you, good morning to you. Each and every morning, y'all. Good morning to you. Brother Charlie, good morning to you. Good morning to you. Oh, yeah. It is morning time. Good morning to you, Mr. David. Good morning to you, Seven. Listen, y'all. It is morning time. Welcome to the celebration. Morning motivation. I am Deacon Ford, and we're here once again to give God our glory, our honor, our praise for this right here is the day that the Lord has made. He has blessed us. He has allowed us to come together once again to, to, to encourage one another. Huh? The Bible says iron sharpens iron. So we're here one, in, in, in some capacity. We are here to encourage one another, to love on one another. That's why it's called the morning motivational family, man. We are family here, man. We are here also to lift God up. Most importantly, we're here to lift God up and give him all praise and honor that is due unto him. For he is the great I am. He is the maker of all things. He is the one that created us. He breathed his breath into us, gave us the breath of life. And so we're here, man, to gather in this place and to love on one another. Y'all come in real quick. I see a few of y'all done jumped on. We might double back and get them ones who coming in a little bit later, a little bit extra love. But for those who are on right now, y'all come in real quick. Y'all know how we do this, man. Big hug to each and every single one of y'all. I appreciate y'all. I love y'all. And I thank God that we are here together. This morning, y'all, we looking at uh, 1 John. 1 John uh, chapter 4, verse 16. 1 John chapter 4, verse 16. Shout out to y'all who are still logging on. Man, I see a few people who are jumping on. Sister Ellie, I see you on here. Uh, Sedavia, once again, I see you on here. Sister, uh, my cousin Sonia, uh, I see you on here. Sister Stephanie, good morning to each and every single one of y'all. Thank y'all for being a part of the Morning Motivational Family. And I want to give a special shout out to those who are in the views. You don't make yourself known. You don't got to make yourself known, man. You don't make yourself known, but you view you're a part of the family, and we thank you. Brother Kevin, I see you on here. Good morning to you. Thank y'all for being a part of the family. Once again, y'all, 1 John, not John, but 1 John chapter 4, we will be looking at verse number 16 this morning. Grab your word, man. Grab your word. I don't say this in any type of malicious way, but you got to get into the word for yourself. Don't take nobody's word for it. Don't just sit there and take anyone's word for it. Get into the word for yourself. Read the word for yourself. Spend some time in the word for yourself and meditate on the word for yourself. Shout out to bro Emery. Thank you for hitting that share button, big bro. I see you on here. I appreciate you. Once again, 1 John chapter 4, we'll be looking at verse 16. Let us pray. God, we thank you once again for your grace and your mercy. We thank you, God, for you being who you are that you are the author and the finisher of our faith. The Bible tells us that you are the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. We thank you for being the ever constant in our lives. Even though things may be up and down, twist and turns, we go through our trials and tribulations, we go through our celebrations and our disappointments, we know that though everything is subject to change, in you, O oh God, there is no shadow of turning. We thank you that you are constant, O oh God. We ask that as we gather together in this fashion, that you will bless us with wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of the things that we read, that you would allow your Holy Spirit to guide us into all truth and revelation. We thank you and we love you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Once again, y'all, once again, we're looking at 
First John chapter four, and we'll be reading verse 16. The word reads, and we have known and believe the love that God has for us. God is love and he who abides in love abides in God and God in him. And we have known and believe the love that God has for us. God is love and he who abides in love abides in God and God in him. May God add a blessing to the reading, the hearer, but most importantly, the doer of his holy word. So this week we've been looking at the Lord is. We've been looking at these characteristics that are listed specifically in the Bible that give us detail and insight, direct insight, not revelation, but through the word of God. We see it. We look at the, we're looking at the Bible and it's saying in these words, God is, and it gives a descriptive of God. I mean, the Lord is. The Lord is. We looked at the Lord is, the name of the Lord is a strong tower. And, and yesterday we looked at, it says, it know that. Hold on, I'm finna go back to it. So I so I make sure that I get it right. That was uh Psalms 100, verse 3 on yesterday. Psalm 100, verse 3. The word reads. Psalm 100, Psalm 100, verse 3. And I should have really had this locked in because this is my man, Emery. This is my brother, Emery. This is what he be saying. Know that the Lord, he is God. Know that the Lord, he is God. So that was the description that the Lord is God. So this morning, as we go a little bit more further into this, we see in verse John 4 and 16, it says that, we have known and believe the love that God has for us, for God is love. So know that the Lord, he is God and God is love. So the Lord is love. That's another description. That's another uh, 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 attribute. Love, another characteristic. God is love. He is what love is. That's why love could never, love could never, I don't care how much they try, I don't care how much they hate. I don't care how much negativity they bring to the, tel to the table. Love could never lose its power. Huh? Love could never. I'm going to say that again with conviction. I need somebody to say that with me. Love could never. They could hate. They could backbite. They could do whatever they want. They could naysay whatever they want to do. Love could never lose its power. It just lost its popularity. Because not a lot of people carry love in their heart. I got a hold up. I got to give a big shout out right now. Big shout out to Auntie Keela. Auntie Keela, I see you on here, man. Thank you for being a part of the Morning Motivational Family. I see you on here, Miss Regina. I see you, Sister Chantel. I see you on here, Sister Sheba. Good morning to each and every single one of y'all. We are looking at the characteristics, specifically in the Word of God, where it says God is, and it gives us an insight to the characteristics of God. It says that God is, I mean, the Lord is my shepherd. The Lord is my shepherd. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. And yesterday it says, know that the Lord, he is God. Know that the Lord, he is God. And this morning, 1 John chapter 4, verse 16, it says, God is love. God is love, man. And if you abide in love, then God abides in you. If you abide in it, you have to. If you abide in love, it says, he who abides in love abides in God and God is in him. He who abides in love, if you stand in love, then you are in God and God is in you. That's where we stand. So we talk about the ultimate, the ultimate is. The ultimate thing that God is, he's a lot of things. He's a bridge over troubled water. He's a counselor. He, he's a counselor in the courtroom. He's a doctor in the sick room. He's my mother. He's my father. He's everything that I need. He is. But mostly, most importantly, he is love. He is love. So, man, this morning, first and foremost, acknowledge him. Acknowledge him for who he is, him being love then love on him and allow God to love on you. 
You gotta allow God to love on you, man. Some of us done been through so much that you know our 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 our, our perspective. Huh? Our perspective on life is so cloudy and so dark and so twisted based on the things that, that we done been through. And we don't even allow, we don't even allow God to really truly reveal himself to us. We won't let him all the way in. But this morning, family, it's time to let him in because he is love. Know that the Lord, he is God. And this morning, 1 John chapter 4, verse 16 says that God is love. God is love and he who abides in love in God, he who abides in love abides in God and God in him. But don't take my word for a family. Get into the word for yourself. Once again, that's first John chapter four, verse 16. First John chapter four, verse 16. When you read your word, jump into that comment box and say, I read my word. All right. I love y'all. Faith over fear. God over everything. Together. Together. We've made love great again because love has never lost its power. It just lost its popularity. And it's been a wrap a long, long time ago for that foolishness. We on reflection. We on accountability. We on application. And we on preparation. Getting prepared to walk into our purpose and feel our God given destiny. I'm signing off, man. I love y'all. God bless you. Y'all come on in real quick. Y'all know how we do it. Come on in. Don't act shy. I know it's a few of us on here, but we're going to bunch y'all together so I can get my arms around everybody. Big hug, y'all. Big hug. I love y'all. God bless you. If you don't mind, hit that share button. Let's get this message out to as many people as possible. Signing off, y'all. Morning time, fam. It is morning time. Shout out to you. Y'all have a blessed day. And I will catch y'all on the next time, all right? God bless each and every single one of you.